Before we get started on our training of Ernesto Cruz, let's play a little game of Did You Know? Uh, what town is Ernesto Cruz from? Oh shit, I don't know. What town is Ernesto Cruz from? He is from a town in Mexico. It's very beautiful. I don't know what it's called. What town is Ernesto Cruz from? Um, Mexico City? Are you sure about that? No, I'm not, because I really don't know. And what's it called? It starts with a T. And what to follows the T? To something. I need to look to, it up. To something what? To, 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 oh, to Nora. To, I don't know, when, when Ryan. Is Ernesto Cruz 100% Mexican? I have no idea. Oh, I'm assuming if he lives there. Do you think Ernesto Cruz is 100% Mexican? I do, because his last name is Cruz. So all people with the last name Cruz have to be Mexican? Okay, I know that sounds racist, but yeah, kind of. Most people with the last name Cruz I met. What if you're Puerto Rican and your last name's Cruz? Okay, well, he's not, you know. Okay, so maybe he's half Puerto Rican, has something else. But I don't think he's like, like a white guy. That sounds so bad. <laughs> Sorry. No, I no. I basically say Ernesto Cruz makes um, all the art, and then I I point out the art, and then I say he's from Mexico. If you Google him, you can see his art. He's very eccentric. I do say that. Have you have you ever Googled him yourself? No, I have not. Did you know that not one picture shows it up when you Google his name? No, I did not know that. Would you think he's 100% uh, Mexican, or do you think he has any other ethnic background? I would think he's mixed. You think he's mixed? Why would you think he's mixed? Because he's so eccentric. You, and you usually. That, are you saying that Mexicans can't be eccentric? One? No, I'm just saying usually when you have mixed when you have mixed blood or mixed cultures in you or mixed in your family, you are you just do things differently. So. Is that what you would tell a guest if they asked you about a rest of this? No, but no. I don't know, they've never asked me that. Usually they say, where's the art from? And, or and they'll comment on the art and I'll say, oh, well, Ernesto Cruz. But I didn't know his pictures weren't on the Google, so now I feel bad about that. <laughs> well, you don't know if he made the mirror? I don't know if he made the mirror. I mean, I'm pretty sure he picked it out from somewhere. He designed the restaurant. So he just picked it out, he didn't make it now. Because before you said he made everything for Zoclo. He didn't. I don't think he made everything, but I know for sure he made the pottery. So you think he just kind of went to like Z Gallery or something and picked out the pieces for Zoclo? Actually, I think he went to Pier 1 Imports and picked out everything for Zoclo. So now Ernesto Cruz. Ernesto Cruz is a bohemian artist from uh, the town of Tlaquepaque. Uh, all the decorations that you see in our Midtown and Roseville locations are from him. He basically came into the restaurant and along with Ernesto Jimenez, he looked at uh, how he could make the, re the building and the restaurant look as beautiful as possible. All of his decorations are original and unique. Ernesto Cruz's style of art is very unique. You can see that in all the different decorations. One of them that you see in both locations is humanoids. Uh, he does this in through with many different kind of materials, with wood, with stone, and with with metal. And uh, this is a very unique style that he has developed through with influences from around the world. A big part of our decorations in Midtown is the pila. The pila is one big stone which is traditionally uh, in the front of homes in Mexico and here at Soko is right at the entrance. It's a very impressive piece of art. Uh, it was made specifically for store in Midtown and it has water inside and it's full of flowers that we keep fresh. Every Lighting it's very important. It's a very important part of the restaurant. As you can see, there are beautiful lamps throughout both locations. Uh, they vary a little bit in, in color and design, but they are intended to make the whole ambience and look of the restaurant special. Uh, especially at dinner times and when it gets dark within the lights and it changes the whole mood and experience of the dinner. The 
decorations in Midtown are distinctive because it has uh, different aspects of it. The, the building's beautiful, so the decorations have to match the, the, the building. You see a lot of uh, copper pieces, which were made in a uh, little town called Santa Clarita de Cobre in Michoacán. And the arts from Ernesto Cruz are uh, a different stage than the ones in fountains. You see all the, the arts, pieces of art that are very romantic. Um, they go along with the painting that you see towards the end of the, of the building. And it's a, a surrealistic style that goes along with the big pots and the, the pottery. So when Ernie wanted to find decorations for the new location, he went back to the same artist and he found out that his uh, style had evolved. You see a little bit of different aspects in the decorations at fountains. You see more of a, a brighter colors like red, you see more of a Asian influences, but you still definitely see the same uh, style and aspects that, that you see in Midtown. Uh, the humanoids, the different uh, works in the paintings, in the wood, uh, a lot of bold colors.